Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Mastodon, a federated Twitter alternative, in Docker. To get started, log into the device where we're going to install Docker. First, we'll use apt install to install a few prerequisite packages required to run Docker. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. followed by another apt install to install docker, docker compose, and containerd. With the docker packages installed, we'll make sure the docker service is started and enabled, add the current user to the docker group, then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. Next, we'll generate SSL certificates using Let's Encrypt. We'll begin by running apt remove certbot to remove it if it's already installed. Then we'll install snap using apt install. Then we'll install and update the core snap. And finally, install the certbot snap. We'll create a symbolic link to the certbot binary in the system path so it can be called from anywhere in the terminal. Then using the certbot command, we can request certificates from Let's Encrypt. When prompted, enter an email address, agree to the terms, and choose if you'd like to receive emails from Let's Encrypt. Once the process completes successfully, the certificates will be available in the Etsy Let's Encrypt directory. Next, we'll create a new group called SSL certs and add the current logged in user and root user to the new group. Then we can verify the group membership by using the git int command. Now we'll change the owner of the Etsy Let's Encrypt directory to the SSL certs group and set the permissions on the directory. We're now ready to start creating containers. We'll start by creating working directories for all the containers to store persistent data in. Then we'll download the Mastodon image using docker pool. We'll run the next command twice to generate two secrets for use later. Copy the generated secrets to a text file to be used in just a little while. Then we'll generate VAP ID keys. Copy the output to the text document to be used in just a minute. Next, we'll create a .m file for Mastodon and edit it in the nano editor. Copy the sample configuration from the video description. Then scroll through the file and update the local domain web domain, Postgres database connection properties. Paste the two secrets generated earlier for the secret key base and OTP secret values. Then replace the VAP ID private and public keys with the ones generated a moment ago. And optionally, update the SMTP email configuration. Once finished, save the changes and close out of the editor. Now we'll set ownership of the working directory structures we created and create a Docker network called containers. Using the docker run command, we'll create a Postgres database container, followed by a Redis container Next, we'll initialize the Mastodon database by creating a temporary container. Then we'll run the Mastodon front-end container. We'll connect to a shell inside the Mastodon front-end container using docker exec. Then we'll set the Rails env environment variable to production and create an admin account using the tootctl command line utility. Copy the temporary password from the console output. Then we'll exit from the container shell. Now using docker run, we'll create the Mastodon streaming container, and finally, the Mastodon sidekick container. 
Now using wgit, we'll download the Mastodon Nginx configuration from GitHub. Then use sed to replace some of the configuration options for running it inside of a Docker container. We'll point the Nginx configuration to the Let's Encrypt certificates we created earlier. And last but not least, we'll create our Nginx container using Docker Run. With all that setup out of the way, open a web browser and navigate to the Mastodon URL via HTTPS. Click the sign in button, then sign in with the email address and temporary password we created with the tootctl command line utility. Go to preferences at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Then select account from the left navigation. Paste the current temporary password in the current password field, then set and confirm a new password, then click save changes. Log out using the link at the bottom of the left navigation menu, and log back in using the email address and updated password. Welcome to Mastodon, a federated Twitter alternative, running containerized in Docker.